public schools say that fast action by parents and students alerted the district to a threat made on social media. The student was removed from campus as police now investigate. News Ace Kyle Mitchell is learning what happened and how a statewide program helped. Holland Public Schools says students did what they were supposed to when they see a concerning post on social media, and that's speak up. As districts across Michigan respond to social media threats, this is our number one priority to look into these, and we're not taking any of them lightly um, in ensuring student safety. Everything else that we have can take a back seat in, until we figure out what's going on. Holland Public Schools says a student was removed from campus Monday by a school resource officer after the district was told about a threat on social media. The student did not have a weapon. The reporting um, concerning issues to, to administrators, parents are doing the same, and that process has been working, and we've been able to follow, follow that process and keep kids safe. Students and parents alerted the district of the post directly and through the confidential tip reporting platform, OK to Say, which is monitored by the Michigan State Police. This tip line handles numerous different types of tips, ranging from school threats, as we've seen in the news over the last several days, to include um, suicidal threats, uh, mental health issues, bullying, cyberbullying. Detective Sergeant Carlos Fosati says OK to Say has received a record number of tips since the Oxford school shooting. The previous high was following the Parkland shooting in 2018. And that was just under 1,000 tips, and that was over a month. Now, between November and around December 10th or 11th, we were already at approximately 3,000 tips. And we found that time and time and time again, OK to Say has been successful because students have the courage to come forward and let us know what's going on. In Holland, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.